Hello, my name's Toby Thompson. I'm here today with Maria Deville, a DBA student here at Cranfield School of Management. Maria, you're looking at dynamic capabilities, as I learned, learned to call them, um, in the strategy area. What is a dynamic capability and um, what is it all about? What, what's your research involving? Uh, yes, indeed. Um, my research is around the dynamic capabilities literature. Um, within dynamic capabilities, you can talk about managerial capabilities, uh, product development capabilities, but I have selected uh, to look at the adaptive capability, which I find is quite interesting, uh, specifically within the internationalization process of organizations that are internationalizing in high uncertainty environments. We're talking today about crisis, about uncertainty, and it's a current trend in economies, in markets, in industries. So it's a very interesting topic and it's all about guiding organizations uh, on how to confront this really difficult context and be successful doing it. So what skills, what routines, what capacities they would need to enter into that international market? Yeah, um, we're focusing a lot on the structural changes organizations are forced uh, to make within their uh, own systems and processes. Also, we're looking a lot about uh, the market entry selection decision. Um, there are two main topics that companies have to really consider and make changes within uh, when they are confronting high uncertainty contexts. Your research field seems very tight and you must have surely researched before you came to Cranfield how you would pursue that further. Why Cranfield and that particular topic? Something I really like about Cranfield is putting knowledge into action and that's why I have come to Cranfield. I really believe that if you want to have an impact uh, in the industries you work for, in the industry you work for, in your company, in the management world. You have to have some rigor in your research, in your thinking, but at the end of the day you really have to be able to put this into practice. So that's why I have chosen Cranfield and every day I spend here researching, thinking about it, I am more happy about this decision because I really think I am achieving the rigor in my research I was expecting to find and uh, within this rigor and by joining although an academic conversation I find myself really being able to provide as, as well a very interesting contribution to practice which was my aim when I decided to come to Cranfield. It's great to hear that. You could have chosen I suppose a PhD which is even more rigor. Why, why not a PhD? And that's very interesting because I work in a university, so I may have even a more academic profile than some of my colleagues at, in my cohort. Um, but really, I was thinking about being able to work with the knowledge um, that I gained through my doctoral studies. I really was concerned about taking a PhD and um, just filing it up with some of my other stuff and you know just having people ask me you know how can this help me what have you done through your research and I really wanted this to have an impact on their lives um, maybe I wasn't uh, going to give them a final solution but some guidelines some useful insights that would hopefully uh, motivate their thinking in a very good way and um, that's why I chose a DBA because I think I can do very rigorous work just as in a PhD academically, academically speaking um, I can contribute to an academic conversation, but as well, it can be useful for somebody else than myself uh, in the practitioner world. So it's proximity to, uh, to the application. Tell us more then about someone who's thinking out there of doing a DBA, have a germ of an idea. What would your advice to them be? I would highly encourage them to pursue this idea. Um, they have to be very stubborn. They have to follow what they want to do with a lot of determination. I think that's what takes you through the program, the passion for your topic. You really have to know what you want to do. And uh, this passion is what's going to drive you uh, during the difficult moments and the stressful times. But um, I really want people to engage in taking a DBA. I think it's a great way to develop personally, professionally, and to make a very good contribution to knowledge and to your company or the organization you're working in. 
Marie, you're a brilliant ambassador for the DBA. Thank you very much indeed for your time today. Thank you.